So anyway. just I'm gonna throw this out there, and I'm gonna start doing this for all of you guys. You are playing gods that are not the best in your role. Just just so you know. So right off the bat, somebody who is playing something that's the best is always gonna have that small advantage over you. Like just so you just so that's understood. That's something you need to think about when you're playing ranked. Whether you know playing the that you like is worth it or if you want to get better you know that's just something to have in, in mind all right we got your roll which is good so in the hunter roll you kind of have the ability to ban the shit that you you don't really want to deal with in your lane like if you don't like playing against geb or there's a certain hunter like yeah, you, you could have really bad matchups if you into some hunters like ho Yi is kind of a good pick into your amc into your neath but you don't need to ban that. Like, what is for you? What do you not like to deal with? If there is anything, if not, you might want to just ban a jungler that's easy to play to help your team out, like something that you're getting farmed by over and over again, or even banning an Odin or something. I don't like Tan. <laughs> if if that's something that you deal with, you want to get rid of, go for it. Like whatever, it's up to you. I think that kind of common and it's annoying. <laughs> it, is it actually common in these ranks? You play against it a lot. I've seen it once or twice, okay. but most people try to prioritize the MC. Really? Uh, and people are prioritizing AMC. What? The I've fuck? seen it a couple of times. Either it's banned or it's like first picked. Okay. I've seen it. That's weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I've seen AMC commonly banned. Expect also in 3v3. I was going to try to switch to 3v3 to try to learn AMC. And uh, it's not the it. same. You can't learn Conquest from another game mode. I mean, the God. It's yeah, so but common. learning the God is part of the game mode. Like, you need a, positioning is the biggest thing on almost every single God. You don't learn how to position from playing anything with Conquest. Even in going to like arenas over and over again, you're not learning how to actually position on a Conquest map around a Conquest I team. Kleena to get banned, and I wondered who they think I was going to ban her. Yeah, they probably did, but it's fine. Kleena is actually something you can still farm, especially with AMC. There's e. Yeah, you're definitely not going to play Neath into that. Um, I would play AMC because they have Kleena. And honestly, Kleena's going to fucking farm your ass if you play uh, Artemis. And your matchup in the Hoi is not really that great either because if you ever misposition or overly aggressive alt, he's just going to turn on you. Low ranks, play AMC because they think SPL is end-all, be-all. I don't think that's what it is, though. It has to be the idea. Like, why do you like AMC? What makes you enjoy the god? I just like the character. You like the kit? Uh, I like, you I like, like the character. I like the idea of abilities. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Because I think AMC is good. Uh, I just think it's not the easiest to play all the time. Uh, so <laughs> before we get into it, what items do you usually go Death Toll? Because we saw that. And then Crusher? Uh, yeah, Death Toll, Crusher. Uh, I start one. All right. And you know to max your one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we're already there set up. There has been a couple of games I've started. I went gem and started two. It either goes Game, a blue good stone? or... Yeah. Even if you go if bluestone, you shouldn't bad. go your two. You should you should still do your one into your three, in my opinion. You sacrifice cl clear though for that, right? But you're not really sacrificing clear because if you you should out clear unless they have a really good support, and then mm -hmm. you're just trying to hit level two. And as soon as you two, you three, you three down, and then you have clear, you have poke, you have wave clear, you have the slow for kiting or chasing. The three is really important to me. Like I I think you're just fucked if you ever don't have that three up. You could technically go your two. But then your three is not going to be worth anything. You're going to be leveling your one. And then the next wave, you're probably going to get out cleared unless you have a good support. And I wouldn't rely on your support ever. Like even this game, what is your support? Oh, you have a Shing Ten. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Shing Ten's really good for you because it's aggressive, like in their face, set up damage. Um, but they're probably not going to be appealing for you just because they're going to be running at them. Uh, you're against Ho Yi and you're against, what is that, Hades matchup? You definitely need beads. We know that. So I would go Death Soul. Death Soul is just clean, simple, gives you extra HP, so your survivability goes up. Um, if you ever fuck up, you're sustaining a little bit more. It's definitely the way to go. You need some potions, 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 potions. Uh, you do not need mana potions, ever. So you're going to go three health, one multi, more than likely. Because I don't think mana is going to be an issue for you either, because you're one. And the idea of the health potions should always... Wait, what is going on? Do I not have audio for you again? Uh, is it me? I don't have audio, and I don't know why I wouldn't have audio for you. I had it earlier, uh, for whoever was here before. So this is fucking weird. Let me double check. It... It has to be on your end, but I'm not going to get you to fix it right now, so don't worry about it. Yeah, do you know if you click stream smite or stream screen? 
I thought I clicked stream smite. Okay, well, we'll figure it out for this. Don't worry about it. It's not. It's literally not a big deal. Make sure you have your ones down. Your hive should be down, so you, for you to move and to kill faster. Yep. You want to pull this, and you want to reset it. At, like you want to pull this. You don't want him to pull it. <clears throat> yeah. Always make sure you pull that. Now you're gonna reset it right now. Reset it. Reset it. Reset it, and leave. You should clear it in time. Yep. There we go. What the fuck? Okay. And just focus on clearing. As soon as you get your three up, hit the wave and try to hit somebody else if you can. <clears throat> Don't play up too far. He's level two. That's fine. You can just walk away. Pop a health potion and auto a little bit. Auto a little bit while asking. There you go. Just back up. Back up. Don't take the creeps. Don't take the creeps. Don't take the creeps. Let them meet your wave. Your dude's trolling. Put another hive down. They're clearing your hives. Make sure you're putting them back out of their way. Yep. Might be a little too far. I never stand in the wave like that. You do not need to be in the wave, especially on AMC. You never need to be in the wave. But grab your three and throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Don't waste any time. There you go. You're going to lose back yeah, RBs, but it's fine. better way to level up abilities. What'd you say? A, be a better way? There, yeah, a better way to level up uh, I mean, I use my F keys. So if you can, <laughs> like, that's literally. I just the, have to get used to it. Yeah, it's... you can always change the keybinds for leveling to something else. Um, Make sure you put your hive down on the left. On the left, right there. And I would change Hive to Instigas later on. So 33, 33, 33, 33, yep. Never stop throwing your three. Nice. That should be a kill. You can play up. Play up. Okay. Back right there, there's no reason for you to be backing off. So your jungler's there. You have an advantage. You're full health. Nobody's throwing any abilities at you. You just need to throw your three and then, you know, keep throwing autos. Uh, look for the top right harpy after this next wave. Try to power clear this wave with your with your dude. Make sure you put your your hives off to the side as well, not in the middle of the lane. Play up here. Don't be afraid. Keep throwing your... Th you should be poking. You're not going to be scared to these guys. Throw your threes at on them. If you, if you can't get in range of the wave, you just need to be fucking with them as much as possible. You do a lot of damage. Play back here. Beads if you need to. And just turn auto. Keep autoing. Do not stop autoing. Do not stop autoing. Throw your three when it's up. Throw your three when it's up. Throw your three. Three, 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 three. Now back off. Hopefully you get them. Nice. Unfortunate both guys died. That's fine. Now, play aggressive on this guy. Throw, throw your three at him. Throw your three at him. Play aggressive. Don't be afraid of this, dude. Keep autoing him to him. Don't get, don't go into there. Don't get bounced. Just don't get bounced. You're okay to be following him. Just don't get bounced. Nice job. Keep playing up. Don't be afraid. Do not stop be playing aggressive on this guy. He's, you're better than him. He doesn't really know what he's doing. His positioning is bad. You can take advantage of this guy massively. Play up on him here. Yep. Play up, play up, play up, play up, play up. Do not be afraid of him. Look at his health. Fuck him up. Throw your three on him. Don't go too far now. Don't go too far now. Oh, a little too far now. You can just back off. It's fine. Just walk away. Pop your health potion. Turn on the wave and start autoing. So you know his leap is down, right? So he can't really be too aggressive on you. Your support's here, so look for a fight. Perfect. Keep autoing him. If you can't hit him, hit the Hades. If you can, it's fine. Yep. Nice. Nice try. The two, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. God, I don't have him in here. Nope, you're good. So your purple's up. You want to go get that, and you want to get this next wave. Uh, I would get the wave first since your three has enough mana for it and then do purple. And you need to be very careful here because when the Hades hits five, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I don't have beats. Yep. All right, go to your purple. I don't know why your support decided to go stand up purple like that, but you know, it is what it is. I want to know why this is. There we go. Alrighty, your low mana with no beads. Yeah, I would back you. Uh, you know, that's fine. Buy a, um, both buy a ward, buy a ward. Regular potion on a ward. Do a favor Is for me. Press F8. Do you have it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, run down the lane. You're good. Uh, all, you have auto run bound, right? You know what auto run is? Yeah. Okay, so nice. whenever you're doing anything like that, throw in your auto run so you're not losing time. Should probably change it off of Numlock. No, you're fine. Poke this guy. This is good. This is good. You want to poke and try to do some damage here. Do not walk into the ult. Do not walk into the ult. Oh, that's okay. You want to stay at max range there. Back off. Back, 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 back. So you're you're eating damage when you don't need to. You can walk up and throw your, your poke out there without getting auto a single time. Pop your health potion and put another hive down. You need to start collecting your hives and getting them up. So whenever a tower is killing a creep, do not kill that creep because the tower, you're not going to get gold from that creep. So you never need to kill that creep with a tower. Let the tower solo it. Put your hives down. Put them on the side. Every time a hive is up, get a, get a hive down. 
is they're killing them because of the positioning. So we either need to spam them or we need to position them better. You're fine playing here. Just look for clear. Nice job. Throw your two at it. Throw your two at it. Don't don't waste time. You're not going to go home. Throw your two at it. Now look for aggression here because you know they don't have Hades ult. They don't have Hoagie ult. And they're on this, so you can do a lot here. There you go. Kill the Hades. Kill the Hades. Focus the Hades. Focus the Hades. Nice. We're beautiful. Kill the other guy. Kill the other guy. Don't even pick up your hive. Keep killing him. Keep killing him. Do not stop chasing this guy. Do not stop chasing this guy. Put your hive down when it's up and slow him. Close us. Good job. Good shit. Now go, go back to farming. Go look for their side harpy, the, the one on the top right, after you clear this wave. Uh, and if it's not there, you're going to back instantly. Yours isn't up. This is up. It's not back. Back, 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 back. Get your crusher. Back. Don't worry about yours. Back. You can see yours isn't up. You'll get your, your wave and your purple on your way out. Get your crusher and get your Aussie started um, and buy another health potion. Just you want hives down on this path, by the way. You want to be having hives down. So whenever you back, put a hive in the base so you can get out of the base faster. And then when you get a little bit farther the next back, you can drop another one. And if they get okay. eaten up, nobody fucking cares. Like if you place too many and they're gone, then they're gone. I was about to say, is there a limit that you can have? No, you're not gonna pay you're not gonna no reason to pay attention to it. Doesn't matter. You pretty much just want to have them everywhere as much as possible. Path under the tower here safely. Do not go high and go to your wood tower and get the wave. And call that that Hoagie is rotating. And then go to that fight if it looks like a fight you can do something in. Never mind, they're all dead. Pointless. Kill, kill your Scorpion after this. Use your two, dude. Start. Clear, you want to clear this shit. You want this shit gone. You're taking damage for no reason. You're not in a hive right now either. Uh, pop your health potion, poke the fuck out of this guy. Do not be afraid of these dudes. Don't be afraid. If somebody rotates over, then at least you're learning. You want to learn your limitations here. Nice. Keep throwing damage at him. If he leaps is when you ult. If he gets caught in an animation, nice. Nice try. You're good. You're good. Your three's coming back up. So as soon as he comes back in, you'll throw your three again. Keep playing up. Put a hive on the right, over in the right jungle right now. Yep, right there. Boom. Now look for poke, 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 and commit. Commit to him. Commit to him. Commit to him. He has no leap. You can kill him here. Keep auto him. Jolt him once. Beads. Beads, beads, beads. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Nice. Keep running. Keep running. You don't die the creeps. Keep running. Keep running. Now clear and back. Quick. Good job. Back. Just back. It'll clear on its own. You'll full clear. You don't need all of this. You don't. Your once your hive is maxed, your three is gonna full clear the wave. And the Hades is coming, so you're gone. Get your Aussie rank two. Grab yourself another potion. And we need to make sure we drop these wards deep aggressively on our way out of here. So up here. Uh or? yeah, anywhere in that area is fine. Okay. If you start realizing a jungler is taking the same pathing over and over again, you'll change to that pathing. Clear these. Clear these backs while you're here. Yep. Throw your two and just dip after you clear it. Go to wave. Boom. The wave's up pretty far, so you need to get your wards down. I would put a shit ward, which is your, your active ward, over on the scorpion, like by gold. In that area. Yeah, right up in here. That's fine. Um, he's going to come ward, so look for a damage here on him if he does. Poke at him, poke at him. Don't be afraid of his ass. Go poke him, go poke him. Fuck him up. He's right there. He should be right there. Yep. Boom. You can just back out of this if you don't see a kill. If you do see a kill, keep fighting. That's perfect. You don't even need I to commit. Like that. Up. No, that. Yeah, but that's good. Like he's fucked now. What's he going to do? Make sure you stand in your hive. Always in your hive. Always in your hive. Go get your purple out of this. Roll up your ults. Go grab your purple. See how fast you killed him without even ulting? Like, you don't even need the ult. You can just hit your three and your two and auto him. And what you're doing is, if you're comfortable, like if nobody's around, when he goes up in the air, cut off where you think he'll go. Run where you think he's going to go. It's usually high. I've noticed they don't really come low. Oh, clear come this on. and do his, take his scorpion from him. Oh, play, play back around this since he's around you. Yeah, that's fine. Just back up. Pop a health potion. You're fine. You can poke him now. Turn and poke him. Turn and poke him. 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 Don't be afraid. Nice. Back up. Keep backing. Nice. Keep going. Keep backing. Keep backing. Keep backing. Keep backing. Oh, that's okay. So what you want to do there is as you're running, throw your three on your feet. And then once you get a little bit of distance, auto. But always keep backing up while doing that. Because you almost killed him. You probably would have killed him if you didn't hesitate that like for that first few seconds. Because you got out of a lot of his abilities. I think his one didn't even hit you, which is huge because he's more than likely leveling it up. Oh, that's fine. Dying to a gank after all that's not the end of the world. Just get out of base quick. Grab a health potion. Your team is getting a gank on the right side of the map, so that's always good. I would go straight to lane. Yeah. 
so just slow at my feet and yeah because because so he dashed you you heard him three which means as soon as he gets into by his, his slow and you have your movement you're gone like there's no world where he can keep up with you no, i remember to don't attack those yep always hit those last those ones last Hug the left side of the wall here for now because you don't know if the jungler is going to gank you again. A lot of time people get a kill, they'll come right back for another one because they feel like it was easy or whatever. Yeah, you're good to clear. Now go get wards high, high in the jungle right now in the top right, top right, top right, top right. Yeah, if I ever say any word that you're not sure of, tell me, by the way. I feel like, what, yeah. just be like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, that's fine. That's not a problem. Do I, take, do I clear this? No, yeah, you no, can. No, just watch out for the Hades now. There. Yeah. Did he yeah. counter ward you? What the fuck? All right. Well, you I know there's a counter ward there, so no more wards in that area. Just fine. Just clear your wave. Power cleared this. So when you walk up, three it and two it. Wait, is Hades still here, though? He might be, but I'm you have beads, sure. so you can just run away. Just power okay. clear it. Power clear it. Two, you want to two it. You're wasting time. Two it. Back up. Yep. When you walk up in three, the next thing that comes out should be your two. So poke this guy and fuck him up. Fuck with him. Fuck with him. Fuck with him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him and poke him. And if anyone low is closer, kill that person instead. You want to fight this. You want to fight this. Pick a target and focus that target. Ult right away. Nice. Nice. Huge. Back out now. Back out. This is rough. The whole team is here. You're my popular potion while you're running. Just throw, slow, at your feet. slow at your feet. Slow at your feet. Slow at your feet. Slow at your feet. Keep running. Walk straight. 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 Oh, that's fucked. You needed to keep running. You didn't need to turn around. When I say slow at your feet, I mean while you're walking in a straight line, look down and put your shoulder at your feet. Because I think you would have gotten out of there because that whole ye never gets a bounce if you don't turn around. Sorry, someone was talking to me. No, you're good. <clears throat> yeah, when you're running three at your feet, that doesn't, don't turn around. Just while running in a straight line, straight look straight at the ground and throw your three down. It will slow everything behind you and you'll be good. That was just a shit fight. You were a little late to the rotation because you keep wanting to back off when you don't need to. So just try to try to relax on being. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of dying. It's okay if you die, like in a lane. Getting ganked isn't the end of the world. Your guys are down 1,500 gold. It's it ain't shit. Mm, you have a bunch of kills. Your nev just inted really hard. So he died. I don't know. I couldn't tell if anything was used, but he definitely. I'm guessing he ulted. He might have beats the Hoi. So you can look for something. Play up. Play up. Just keep focusing on farming. You want to get a ward top right, closer to the purple, maybe near that harpy. Uh, if you clear this. Ha! Oh, hi. There you go. Oh, you're good. You're good. Pop your potion. Don't be afraid of him. Pop your potion. Agus, Agus, Agus. Oh, shit. Okay. So when you walk into him there, when he uses his ability, that's his damage, right? Like, once he uses his ability, if you turn and run away, you're going to get fucked up because he's just going to auto you. But he can't do any big burst damage. That's where you turn and you say, fuck you, and you kill him. Like, the second... He, he did, I don't even think he stunned you, right? He, did he miss his stun? No, he stunned me. Oh, he did right, stun you? He stunned me as soon as I turned okay, around the Okay, so, so he stunned combat you and only did 60% of your health. That's his whole fucking kit. So you want to dump your kit right back into him there. You want to Aegis his ultimate or Aegis the leap, whatever you're comfortable, like you, you feel like you can you can read it incoming. Like if he, leave, if he goes up in the air, the second he starts coming down, you can Aegis that or you can Aegis the ultimate. But you should not turn and run away as an ADC like that. It's basically a free ult yeah. for him. I mean, it's basically a free kill because you let him auto you four times in a row while walking away. Oh. Uh, you want to go into your fucking crit, your wind demon. Get in the lane. You're better than this guy, so don't be afraid of him. Like you're, you're, you're doing way more damage. His positioning is not better. You can kill this guy, so don't be afraid of him. Hopefully, your purple didn't get invaded. You still now you have all your actives up too, so do not be afraid. Your dude's rotating. You saw him in mid lane, so you're gonna want to you're gonna want to go over there if they keep fighting. He was just getting the smacking tin right now. If they die, do red. If not, try to help them. Yeah, just do red. That wasn't even Ho Yi killing them all. They were all just dead before you even got there. The tier two, you're not going to be able to do anything about it. So just go back to your lane. So alt. Yeah, level up your alt every time. 
they're gonna go for gold here so you can clear the next wave but you need to haul ass back towards your tier two so they do not rotate over and kill you yep i would back so you're gonna full clear once you three two that wave is cleared you don't need to auto it you can walk away they should be doing dropping gold i don't understand why it hasn't died yet oh there you go perfect Back to lane you go and get a yeah, health potion. You're gonna need to start buying counter wards soon because you're gonna get they're gonna try to gank you and then go for big objectives. You're a little behind this dude. Can you check his build real fast? Uh, he, he is. You're still able to trade with him because your damage is instant. You do a lot more instant damage. You just need to Aegis one damage ability. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Fuck him. Keep fucking with him. Yep. Keep fucking with him. Don't stop. Don't stop. Aegis is all if you have to. Aegis is all if you have to. There you go. Keep going. Wait for your three to come up and kill him. Kill him with your three. Pop that health potion while you're chasing. He's still here. He's still on the rock. He's on that rock. He's still on that rock. Remind you. Yep. He's still right there. Nice. There you go. Two. Boom. Oh, throw your one down for vision and kill his ass. Nice. There you go. Fucking free. Now clear your wave, try to sustain, hug the left side, because you do not know where the jungler is. You see tier and right, but wait, till, keep on pushing up, push up, push, 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 push. You're hugging the left side, so if the jungler comes in, you can react. He's not even here, just power clear this. Go check his purple and take this tower if you can. Yep, drop your regular ward at the purple or back here, wherever, that doesn't matter. Check, yep, take the purple buff. It's more important than the tower every time because the tower is going to die eventually. This purple buff would be picked up by him if you didn't drop it. Clear the next wave. Get the tower back to base. Get your wind demon. I would even take that scorpion right now when the, while the wave is pushing into the tower. The ho is back up, so clear the scorpion and back. You might not get the tower. It's not a big deal. Nobody cares. Back to base. Get your wind demon. Uh, yeah, I would go into XC next. <clears throat> the team map might end up. Uh, yeah, XC. What were you? What did you want to build next? I, I have in my head uh, transcendence. So. Oh no 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 no! no. Transcendence worthless. Yeah. Complete garbage. Absolute dog shit. You would either be going crit or you would be going for a kins build, like one or the other. Um, because it's Tiamat and he's big and he might be diving, he'll feel a little bit tankier. He's, so I having, think he's gonna go to purple. Uh, then kill him if he does. Fuck him up again. You still have that Aegis. You can use it to avoid any damage. Because one of my highs went down. That's fine. I'm you're just, yeah, you're fine staying here. Yeah, just drop it quickly. Qu drop it fast. Yep. Pass safe underneath the left. Clear the wave. Kill his ass. All right. Go into the jungle and look for him. Look for a kill. Aegis, any damage you feel like is incoming. Fuck him up. Ult him. Just commit to him. Commit to his ass. Nice Aegis. Ult him and get out of this. Get out of this. Get out of this. Oh, you didn't ult. Okay, you need, to, you need to open with the ult a little bit sooner. Like right away. That was a good Aegis, but you need to open with your ult. And you need to be using your hives in front of you if you think he's going to be there. So that will be your, your vision for you. You'll know whether you want to path in or not. The fact that you Aegis that burst was sick, but the f he just turned into autoing you because you just sat there and tried to walk away. Not really a big deal, though. You're pretty much even with him at this point. Get your next rank of your item and buy a counter ward. <laughs> so goal here is counter ward, counter ward, counter ward, counter ward. Um, go clear your wave, and then we want to group. We want to get with the team for the rest of the game. Your rest of your team is starting to group, so that means you can actually have people to follow around, which is good. Your dude's level 10. Goodness gracious. That is rough. Try to clear another wave if possible. If you feel safe doing it. They're around yeah, gold. Help up. help him at gold. Yeah. Go to gold. Gold straight to gold. Straight to help him. Dang. Oh my god. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. It is what it is. Uh avoid fighting here for the next little bit. Drop a ward over that wall by that back harpy. <clears throat> Just so you know if he's around. Yep, right there. Oh, back right off. There, yep, back off. Just walk away. Back away, back out of this. Just go to tower. You're not going to be able to fight. You can pass safe underneath the mid if you would like. Because Hoyu is more than likely coming since he didn't push the wave. But since your Nem got picked, this is a bad fight. Other dude gets picked, it's an even worse fight. Everyone's just going in one by one. They're all full health pretty much. You can poke at them and look for a good kill if anyone's out of position. For sure. 
But remember, Ho Yi will be around you. Just take all these waves, fuck them. They're probably going to fire, but you cannot be the one who walks in. So if your dude wants to go check fire, you could follow him deep behind him and go in, but realistically, they're probably just getting it for free. Take another step back. You want him to be in front of you. You want to know if there's someone around the corner. Now go. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Follow him. You're good to follow him now. You just want him to be up ahead. So they're on this poke at them. Look to poke at them. Look to do damage. Don't get too close. Just keep max range and poke at them. Nice. Perfect. Keep poking. Good job. Ult this guy. Ult this guy when he lands. Ult this guy when he lands. Nice try. That's okay. Keep looking to do it. If he wants you, like knocks you back, beads it instantly. But keep doing damage to him. You're fine. Keep doing damage to him. Good positioning. Nice. Back up a little bit. Keep getting distance. Keep getting distance. Nice. Kill the Hades. And keep getting distance while killing him. Good shit. Next target. Aegis if you need to and beads if you need to. Throw it, you can throw the slow at your feet as well whenever you're running. Put a hive down for vision. You can still get kills here, but be very careful because that dude is huge in the back. Yeah, that guy is gigantic. He's going to try to dive you here. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, uh, you should have killed him. That's all right. Good Aegis. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> So, so your Aegis was, you got him, nice. Your Aegis was perfect, but you need to start hitting him. Like, out of that Aegis, throw your two and auto. Keep hitting him. You were probably... He went behind me, so... What'd you say? He, uh, like, he went behind me. Oh, he two'd you, and, and then, then yeah, yeah, I got behind you. Yeah, but when he was walking at you, if you had thrown your two before, like, he was walking in a straight line at you, right? You you have way longer distance than him for abilities, so you could have definitely hit him before you had Aegis. Surrender. Oh, you dudes are just crybabies. That new wall's been crying the whole game. Press tab real quick. Yeah, you're... Wait, you have a Chiron solo? I didn't yeah. even know he was in this game. Oh my gosh, and his build is dog shit. Yikes. All right, well... I always go into this like, it is what it yeah, is. Uh -huh. I just want to learn. Uh, start building your reset. kins. Start building your kins and buy a, uh, a health potion. Kin, kin, wait, what? Kins, kins, Q, QI, QI. Oh, shit. Sure. Yep, kins. All right, there you go. Okay. Yep. All right, group up with your team. Try to follow your world? Nem and your oh, Shinkan around. Uh, you can. Yeah, you can. Realistically, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Your team is not warding at all. At least wards that matter. They're not dropping them. So you are you pretty much just want to counter for the big objectives if you get a chance to go for it. Go uh, your purple. You want to hit 20. Go to that gold if they can. Shinkan's yeah. pushing mid. See, like, this is dumb. This is, this is a problem with your rank is these people aren't playing their roles anywhere near correctly. And the other team's actually grouped, which is weird. Be careful doing this purple. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. See where they go. See where they go. Go. Get ready to go to your team. Go to your team. Go to your team. Go to your team. Help them. Throw some throw slows out and keep max range. Keep max range. Keep max range. Keep max range. You're too close. Yep. There you go. Loop around. Your team's fighting. You need to get in on this. Max range means like do not go into melee range. Like throw all your abilities from max. Throw autos from max. Keep that distance. But you're fucked now anyway. Go back to left. They're going to go to fire. Go to fire, go to left. Sorry, I said go to fire, go to left. You can't defend this. Oh, okay. There's just no way. If they want Phoenix, it's free. They're all alive. I would push left hard. You need Could to hit 20. Rotate over me after? I mean, if they do, they're not going to fire, so it would be a stupid take for them. And on top of it, if you see them, and you don't see them mid, if they disappear, then you can just back. They, they're going to fire. Like, almost guaranteed they're going to fire. If they gank you, it's oh, fine. he came over here. He did? Oh, yeah, look at that. You get back. Just back. Just back. Just back. No, wait. No, just oh, back. Just back. Back, back, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking leaving. If he's here, <sighs> someone else is probably here. Yep, it's cleaner. Yep. I'm leaving. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Get rank two of your kins. Go. This is where it gets difficult. You go into right and farm the neutrals, like your speed and backs. Go do those. But you need to see where they are because that fire is still up. And they need to be playing for that. Take this. Fuck this guy. You want level 20. And be putting your hives down the whole way out while doing this. Yeah, if your brain tells you that you would like to have some more CDR, personally, I would go Jotun's um, after the Aussie for CDR. I would not mm -hmm. go Transcendence. Uh, it's just, you're going to be, you fought so much this game that Jotun's would add more value. Push out right, you're missing a ton of XP and right. Be looking for farm for yourself. You're the carry. You're the one who needs the farm. Take the fucking farm. And you can't go into a fight until your front line goes in anyway. So you standing there is pointless until your front line gets there. Keep pushing. Next wave. And right. Next wave. Next wave. Next wave.
Go help them at Pyro after you clear this. Just three it and go. Go over there. You don't need to sit here for the whole wave. It'll die. And back, get behind your front line. Get by, by your new wall in his general area. And follow up. Be in position to auto attack when you can. Dude, this this guy is actually just a bot on your team. <laughs> play back. Play back. Stay behind your Shinkan. Do not let him be in front of you ever. Here. Because if, if they go on you, you're fucked. They're going to zone for fire. Push out the mid wave. And then loop in towards the fire giant. And do not go towards that fire giant until your Shing Ten goes in for vision. You should be able to push this out for free. You just three it and you go on over. Or whatever you want ability, just do that and head over. Head over. Head over to them. Yep. Oh, he's doing the pyro by himself. You can look for poke on him here. And maybe fight him if it's just a 1v1. Uh, Back out now. It's just so deep. So, so, so deep. Go back to mid. Start split pushing. No, mid, 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 mid. You're, you're, you're going nowhere. You're doing nothing. So your team's dead. So where where are, we, like, where are you trying to go? Right? Like, okay, your team crit. Even right there, your whole team's dead. You can't solo defend Phoenix. So there's nothing you can do other than split push, right? You can go get farm. You can maybe get a Phoenix if they aren't paying attention. But you, like, passing through the jungle right there is bad. It's not worth it. That game was not winnable, though, with your solo laner literally into on cooldown. I'm very interested to see if he even did damage. Show me the details. Oh yeah, he literally just inted. He had eight deaths and ten k. That's terrible. Your jungler was even worse. Oh my gosh. Oh my ash. You played really, really good. You need to have a little more confidence in yourself in looking for damage and kills because until you push yourself to like to the point where you're fucking up like you're going too deep you're being too aggressive you're dying you won't know what that limitation is because i don't even think you would have gone for the ho Yi kill uh, i think you sold him like twice i don't think you even would have gone for it if no, i wasn't I, I, honestly i would have yeah. be honest with you, i would not have gone you would not yeah see and it was free like those are free even the one where you randomly while you were going to ward and you walked into him you could turn and fucking kill him if he doesn't like get you below half health on an ability combo on his main abilities just turn and whoop his ass. Turn and start clapping him. Save your Aegis for his ult. Like it, 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 it'll happen in a lot of situations like that. Say, say it was an ul. You, you turn the corner. If he eats, if you eat a full combo from an ul and it only puts you at sixty percent, you can do more than sixty percent instantly. Your ult's gonna do forty percent of his health right away. So you're gonna even the playing field with just one ability, and then you can auto him while your dots are ticking. You can kite him with the slow if you want to. You got a lot of options. But I would be more aggressive because you're not bad by any means you just don't either you don't realize how much damage you can do or you don't trust yourself but it shouldn't be trusting yourself and if it's you not realizing it the more you try the more you'll start to realize you can actually do some big boy damage yeah i, I mean that, playing, i think he's just playing up more i don't uh, that used to that league mentality, man. Oh my god, it's killing me. Playing back and farming the whole time, yeah. Hell yes, yeah. playing back and playing <laughs> yeah. PVE, and in, I do it in the jungle, and it's really bad. In these brackets, that will not work. You need to be killing this dude and pushing your lead, so you can just carry the game. Like it's never. You, know, you see how bad that jungler was. You saw how bad your solo laner was. The only way you could potentially win a game like that is if you fucking slaughter your lane. If you kill him five times, you start rotating. You start getting all the objectives. That's how you win a game like that. You cannot rely on your teammates grouping or playing properly. You need to take it in your own hands. And to do that, it's a lot of aggression. So if you're never aggressive, you won't be able to do it anytime soon. There was one of these games. Oh, I can't remember which one, but there was a Kali game uh, where my mid laner did bad. And then the left lane was like pushed up all the way to their tier tier one. And I'm like, they wanted me to gank them. And I'm like, why would you want me to gank you all the way up to tier one? So then they die. Now they're on on their on our tier one, but now I can't gank them because they have a kill up, and I don't want to feed a kill. No, Do see, I... so you're overthinking it. If they're on your tower line, you can fucking kill them unless they have like a three level lead on your ass. You mm -hmm. can kill them. You need to don't think the like the the what if the bad. Not don't think if this goes wrong, this is what's gonna happen because nobody fucking cares. You need to go for the kills because when you do kill them, it turns into more kills. It turns into more farm. It turns into wins. One level in this game or one death in this game is nothing. People hype it up and think it's the end of the world, especially at lower brackets. It is. It means nothing in this game at all.
deaths don't start mattering until you're above level 15. Because if you get picked at level 15 and you're a major role, you're a jungler, you're an AC, ADC, that means you're going to lose gold, which is going to turn to more farm, more XP, and it's going to start to, you know, build on itself. But a level 3 death doesn't matter. The only time it matters is, is this guy 5? Like, if they've hit 5 before you, you don't want to gank them until everyone's 5. Like, little things like that are what you're looking for in those situations. It is a learning experience. But the two gods you're playing are very difficult because you have to know your aggression to do well with them. And you also have to know your like where to position to not be out of position. So you're playing two gods that are very hard to do that uh, while also not being an aggressive player. So start keep playing them. If they're what you want to play, keep playing them. But start being way more aggressive. Die for it. Nobody fucking cares if you die. So Your teammate's gonna, gonna cry, but it doesn't matter. You can die. So what god would be the opposite of that? Uh, the safest god in the game is probably Crybdis. You pretty much shouldn't die ever um, because your three takes you out of the game. They can't hit you. They can't do anything to you. Uh, oh, yeah. Ho-Yi is fairly safe while also having aggression, but because it, it's basically gods with mobility. Sorry, go to the hunters real quick for me. <clears throat> uh. So... Izanami is a really base level one. That would be a god I would say, you know, you're at a stage where you could do a lot with it. You're decently safe, but it's not the best, but you're also decently aggressive. That is one you should probably be playing. Um, Charybdis is very safe. It's a little bit higher skill cap because you have to learn that your two is a very important ability and most people don't. Um, Ho Yi is probably the safest in the game, but you need way too much awareness to do that. So I wouldn't play, or not Ho Yi, sorry, Heimdall. Uh, Heimdall is just ungankable if you're good. But that's something that's a little bit farther out. I would not play that. If I, I were you, that in a normal game, that was an interesting. No, I would I pick up. <laughs> no, pick up is an army. It's very the whole kit is straightforward. You have a big silencing nuke. You start fights with it basically. Um, you have a dash. You have a slow. You have a one that makes your autos hit faster. Uh, it's pretty fucking straightforward. Is an army? I would throw in your rotation. Um, I would throw fucking Artemis out. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Unless something changes I'm next season. If you, if you love Artemis, play it. Like, I'm not going to tell you not to play it, but I'm saying that's the worst out of the four gods that we're talking about right now. Um, Charybdis, if you want something to branch out, go for that. But Izanami is the one I would say, like, throw that into your rotation. It's a completely right. different play style because you have a dash. You actually have mobility. Where those other gods don't fucking have mobility. I'll try it. Yep. But be aggressive. I don't even care if you're dying a lot. Be, you need to figure out your damage numbers. Because AMC, you do a shit ton of damage. I mean, you weren't even trying to do damage, and you were you were killing that Ho-Yi like he was not, not even there. So push yourself a little bit. Try to do damage. Try to kill more people. Learn your matchups. So didn't you say Ho-Yi was actually difficult into it AMC? It can be, yes. If he, I mean, he's hitting his abilities, and he was kind of using them properly. I mean, early game, he was playing like dog shit. Um realistically what kind of happened was you you got ganked at one of the worst times that was like i think you were like level 11 or 12 and that gave him a two level lead and that's really why it became difficult for you where mm. if that gank didn't happen or you had actually played that gank a little better you would have turned it around and gotten a kill and it oh, would have been different the one <clears throat> when it was her uh him and Kalina, Kalina, yes. I was supposed yeah, to yeah. slow, but I didn't. And then they were both like less than half. Oh, yeah, yeah, you almost yeah. killed the Kalina and you like you you didn't min max, basically, is all it was. You if you just slowed at your feet, you would have done damage, right? The dot would have been ticking. Um, so it buys you time and it gets you distance. And if it gets you distance, you can turn an auto attack. What happened was you tried to turn and three and auto attack, so the Ho Yi caught up and was able to do some damage. Uh, but they both almost died on that. That was like that's where dying starts to matter. Because that death, he got a two level lead off of it. And then they did a goal fury off of it, which is your that wasn't your fault. That was your team's fault. But it starts to build at that point in the game. It just builds and builds and builds. So pushing yourself in the first eight levels, nine levels, ten levels, not a bad thing. Make sure you start getting wards around ten level ten plus, because like I said, that's where your deaths start to actually impact the game. And warding still in the same location? <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't believe that dude counter warded your first ward, to be honest. That was that the was weird that, that he had a counter ward like level five. That's just fucking weird. Um, it, it, you can put your put your shit wards down a little bit more because if he counter wards those, it doesn't matter. So I would be placing those more commonly, and then yeah, start warding your regular wards around their purple, around that little harpy up near the purple. Put them aggressively. The underneath wards are shit. The underneath wards, like at your little harpy by your purple, those wards are garbage. They'll never save you. They're complete trash. Mm -hmm. They'll save you like if you're warding by gold fury. 
But if you're warding by your purple or by that little harpy, you're already dead. Once they're there, you're already dead. I have a dead. lot of questions, but I don't want to take up Ask a Ask away, dude. Go for it. Uh, so one, Hajimon. I actually kind of like this guy. Okay. He's good. Like He's safe. Style. Yeah. Okay. I might start try that that's fine that's that's one of those gods that's you pick him to like stay safe all the time and kind of just get into the team fights and work your way into them once you it's another god where you do do a lot of damage if you get comfortable with it so you know push it when you start playing it start figure it out look for some fights look for some damage see how much you can do and you'll start to realize like when you can and can't push push damage out and then for warding there's a thing that we like in League. We want to ward before the gank happens, not ward when the gank is about to happen. So, like, if you put it too close, they're already in your lane. You're already dead. Never ward like that, right? I mean, realistically, you should be warding every time you leave the base. So, you buy, like, every time you back, I told you to buy a ward. You'll walk to the lane, you'll clear it, and you'll go fucking ward. Pretty much every single time. Like, like consistently. Like, that those wards should not disappear, ideally. Um, when your team is playing right, they'll have vision as well. So you'll know where the jungler is before he gets there. Most of the time, your ward is kind of a last ditch effort. Like, oh shit, he is here. I need to get the fuck out type shit. But yeah, you're always warding just every time you die. Every time you back, you want to have a ward and you want to place it. Pretty much. I think that's just something most people need to form a habit on is automatically buying a ward without thinking about it and then actually going up and placing it. Yeah. And if you can't place it aggressively, like you don't feel comfortable going up in their jungle, that's where you'll probably ward, in my opinion, near your side of the gold fury. So like, you know, you got the gold fury, then you have that little harpy there. If mm -hmm. you ward to the right more of that, like closer to the gold fury entrances, that will be valuable for you because if they do path underneath, at least you'll see them there. And you'll yeah. be able to react. Uh, but a big thing to avoid ganks is hugging the left side of the lane all the time. If you're on the left side of your lane, if you're on the lane, it's not just left side, if you're on the lane, the side of the lane away from the jungle, it's an extra movement to get to you as a jungler. It's honestly, when you start playing at a higher level, it like, I might not even try to gank a lane if the dude's hugging that far over. Like it's that, it adds that much reaction time to it. So if you realize that, that'll help too. Like if you play someone like Izanami and you're hugging the wall and someone, the jungler comes into your lane to gank you, you can just dash out. Like you're gone. They're not going to catch you. So much to learn it is but if you watch your gameplay back after you play your games like you you, you now kind of know what i would tell you or what i am telling you so even if you want to record your own gameplays and watch them back you'll learn really fast it's super simple after the fact or from a third like from my perspective watching you to see the mistakes it's not as easy when you're actually playing the game so if you see it you fuck up you die you watch it back later on after you play then you'll be like oh that's what led to me dying here that was dumb i won't do that again yeah, I'll go back and watch it. Because I didn't record it now. No, you just watch my VOD. And honestly, yeah. this is a good one, so I'll probably end up putting it on YouTube. That's cool. Um, Man, I really wanted to play Jungle. <laughs> you wanted to what? I kind of wanted to play the Jungle more. Um, But it's uh, ADC feels like something that's more team-oriented. Uh, and Jungle feels it like something that's... Solo. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so ADC, I mean, look at how many kills you had in that game, and you weren't even looking for it. That was not grouping. That was not team-based. Now, what happens is you do that, you get those early kills, and you start rotating, where the whole Yi was rotating because your team was shit, right? Um, I mean, your team was bad, bad. This is not a good example of you being able to translate kills into a team fight. But in a real game where your, your jungle and your solo aren't 0-20, you had that advantage. If you start rotating, you can like that's still you. You are not relying on your team. You're just there to fuck them up. Like you're out rotating because you have an advantage. You're already ahead so because you have an advantage. So there's this game that I had seven kills. I had seven kills the entire game, like the first whatever the ten or eight minutes of the game. But I still felt like I couldn't do anything. Well, they have two hyper carry assassins that had no deaths. They were fucking your team up. I, that's all it was. You were just getting out carried. It was you versus two carries, so it's just going to happen. There's some games that are going to be very, very hard to win. Usually, when you go into a game, you'll start playing, and you'll realize somebody is bad on both sides of the, of the map. One of your teammates is dog shit. One of their teammates is dog shit. And if you're in a game like that, 
realistically, you need to, to get your farm off that person early and then translate it into ganking other lanes and pushing the lead. But if the other person on their team is as good as you or better, they're going to do the same shit. So then it becomes who can carry who. That game you just showed me, they had two hard carries on two two hard carry assassins. If they're both decent or at your level, you're not going to outcarry them. It's just not going to happen. You need to start working on your like yourself in those situations. Where can you farm farm? Um, how can you bait your teammates? Because if you if they, you said they were focusing you a lot that match, right? Yeah. Yeah, that means you're going in too early. Let your fucking trash Lord 1 and 8 go in before you and die like a fucking moron. Let them use abilities on him and then go in the second those abilities go off where they won't have them to use them on you. That's something that you'll notice a lot of people do. Um, a lot of very good players that get into games where they know their teammates are not that good. They bait the fuck out of them. You say attack, you spam gank, you ping out what you want them to do. Let them start doing it and then you go in and then you follow up. You do what you want to do. But if you're being focused, it it could definitely be that your team's not grouped and you're just trying to, you know, you're trying to group and do shit, but your team isn't. So you can't. Like, right? Like, if your team's not grouping, they are. Try to get them to group. Try to get them to go in and do shit. If they're not, just go look for farm, play safe, play smart until the enemy team overcommits somewhere. They'll dive a tower. They'll pull fire at a bad time, something like that. But if your team is grouping, let them go in. Let them go for somebody. While your team's dying, look for good positioning and then you're going to look for engage. Yeah, sacrifice your fucking team. Fuck your team. Your team doesn't matter. Your team is not going to win you games. You need to get better so you can win the games for yourself. Which I feel like in Smite, it's easier than <laughs> we didn't pick a champion that can press our good on you. <laughs> okay, that's stressful. Uh, it feels better to be mechanically good in this game yes and you can just dodge everything and then still murder a person and then yeah. walk out alive but a lot of that doesn't come down to just mechanics it comes down to game knowledge like i know what ability you're going to use before you even decide what ability you're going to use so of course i'm going to be able to avoid it right like that that's why playing the game a lot putting yourself in situations that maybe you haven't been like you aren't aggressive so you haven't you are you're telling me you're you're pretty much not an aggressive player right now so you have no idea what any of these engagements look like, right? You have no you had no idea what AMC running out of Hoagie was actually going to look like. Now you I have an idea of it. Abilities, but how it can play out in most situations, no. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> that's where, like, yes, me like mechanically at a pro level, there's a ceiling. Players aren't missing their shit. It's about when they use them, who they use them on, why they use them. Like, when, where, why is pretty much what it comes down to, and that's game knowledge. That's... I know their Poseidon wants to do this, so I'm going to do this instead. Uh, you know their Ho Yi is looking for a bounce here, so you're going to path this way instead, or you're going to slow over the wall. You're not even going to look at him. Like that kind of shit. Little things yeah, you, you'll pick up from Plets <laughs> MOBAs, bro. It's about playing like all of them. They're all different, and it's about playing them a lot to learn them. Like you can't pick up all this information right away. I can, nobody can teach you that shit right away. Most of it is trial and error. You figure it out because you get fucked by it. <laughs> I have to get the air part. <laughs> yeah. To try it. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. That's literally what it is. So one of the cases, I think there was two of them. One when he jumped, and I think I alt before he jumped. You sit alt after he jumps, and the same thing with the tier. But I thought he was gonna dodge. But so he just stood there. Yeah, because if you go to alt, especially at rate, like you're right on top of him, you can definitely alt him. But he, he, as soon as he sees you wind up, he's gonna leap, and you're not, you're gonna miss, and then your alt's out the window. So at least if you're waiting for him to leap, you can ult him when he's landing and it's guaranteed. The biggest thing is you'll get to a point where you'll watch his animations. So if he's, you know, you know, his, his hands go up in there, so he's ulting, he can't do anything else in that time. He can't even use an active in that time because he's in an animation, right? Just ult him you face. would ult him there. Yeah, you would, you would be like, I'm going to throw my autos. The second you see that hand start to rise, you would throw the ult out because you know it's a guaranteed land. Um, you can do it with his one. You, if he's throwing his two, you can do it during that. Like little things... Like that, you'll pick up one. Um, if you fight him once and he just doesn't leap, then throw your fucking ults at him until he starts leaping. Because you can kind of judge play styles. People juke the same way over and over again. They play like something that works for them, they'll keep doing. They're not going to change it up in the moment. It's never going to fucking happen. So if he's not leaping, ult him. Don't even hesitate. Just throw your ults until he starts leaping. And then There's when he's. The... Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. There's also the runaway thing. Uh... If when he ulted me when I ran away, he was ulting like right in the middle of my circle. If I would have ran at him, his ult would have never hit me. Yes, that that's that's the aggression. You're starting to realize if you were aggressive, you not only take less damage, you fucking kill him. 
Um, even the one time you killed him close to his tower, you walked back through his whole fucking all and almost died. Where if you had walked forward two feet, you wouldn't have taken any any damage from his all and you could have just cleared the wave. Like, like, like I noticed it to the point where you, there's no one even there and you're trying to play passive. So, so try to recognize those things because you even said it right there. You could have just walked at him, taken no damage, and you could have just fucking killed him. The biggest thing in a Hoji matchups is using your actives. Uh, if he stuns you, you want to beads as fast as fucking possible because I did pre beads one of them. Yeah, that, that's fucking perfect. And like using your actives to not take that damage can be very, very important because once Hoji unloads his one and his ult, he's relying purely on auto attacks. So if you have your abilities up, you have that advantage over him as long as you've active, like use your actives to avoid damage or avoid CC. I think I did that really well. You said, yep, that's, I mean, you have the idea. It's just, you got to start implementing it. Can I still do conquest? I don't have to play rank to do this, right? No, I mean, ranked is going to be your best indicator for the most part right now. Maybe not because season nine's coming and people are fucking idiots uh, at the end of the season. So yeah, I mean, play play whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable playing. But it's better to get yourself in a ranked mindset, get into the ranked games, get to a point where you want to try, but you're not, you know, you're not freaking out just because it's a ranked game. A lot of people overthink because it's ranked. It's different. It's the same shit. Yeah, this. Yeah, we're just gonna say that game right there. I wasn't overthinking too much. No, yeah, I mean, you need to get to the point where you're just you're doing the same shit. You're worried about you. You're not worried about the fact that it's a ranked game. And ranked is going to be your only way of tracking your progress, to be completely honest. You're not going to see yourself truly improve if you're playing other game modes. 